Hi everyone, how are you? Today we are going to, uh, to revise our previous lesson. Do you remember two days back we explained the word explorers for a day? What does the word explorers mean? It, it means that the person who wants to search or to find out or to discover something new. This is the meaning of explorers. Explorers meant the people here in the story or the characters you already know, everyone know, uh, knows them, knows about them, that they wanted to discover something. What did they want to, do, uh, to explore? What did they want to discover? What did they want to find out? They wanted to find out the hidden flag. And also the question we asked here about, uh, about the kids here in the story, in our story, what did they take with them? They took with them, look at the cursor here, okay? They took with them a compass to know the direction, right? The compass, look at the direction, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the cursor here. The compass to know the direction. What is a compass? It's a tool to see things far away. And they wanted to look for the treasure. Okay, fine. And we studied the word also. They took with them compass and the map. They wanted to find the hidden flag. They wanted to discover, explore, find out. Uh, the hidden flag, and they took with them binoculars, binoculars, compass, map, binoculars to see things far away, and the, uh, they went to different direction, I think they went to the north, right, north, this is the north, the top of the map, towards the top of the map, south, the bottom of the map, East on the right of the map, West is on the left of the map. This was our previous lesson. Today we are going to study and I will explain after I finish this slide, I will explain exactly in details the meaning of these words. First of all, verb here, paint is a verb, right? Paint is a verb. Explore is a verb, write is a verb, dance is a verb, swim is a verb, okay? All these are verbs. When I add a suffix, the suffix er changes the meaning of the word, okay? Now these are verbs. Now, painter, I add er, it will be painter. Explore, explorer, noun, write, writer. It means, I want to paint, he is a painter. I want to explore, to find, to discover something in you. He is an explorer, okay? I want to write, he is a writer, great? Now, also we can go to these nouns, verb, when I add ER, they are nouns. We have some nouns. We add the suffix IST. They will be also nouns. Noun, noun, but different meaning. Journal. Journal is a magazine. Okay? Or a newspaper. Novel is a story. Tour is a trip. Magazine journal. Novel story, tour, a trip, or picnic. Now, journalist. Oh, what's the difference, miss? Okay, I will let you know. I add novelist, I-S-T, novelist, uh, journalist, I'm sorry, journalist. Novel, novelist. What? Tour, tourist. Okay, the person, tourist, the person who goes on a trip. Novelist, the person who writes a story. Journalist, the person 
who works in a journal, in a magazine, on a newspaper. Okay, let's go to this, answer these ones, then I will explain more and more about this suffix. I do like, number one, I would like to be, okay, an explorer or explorer. Of course, explorer, I want to be an explorer. Why? To f okay, because I want to travel around the world. I want to be an explorer. Number two, my sister is an, a novel or novelist. Oh, novelist, of course, circle this one. Okay, novelist. Why my sister is a novelist? Because this is her occupation. This is her job. Number three, my uncle's, uh, my uncle is a journal or journalist on a newspaper paper journalist of course so number one two and three explorer novelist journalist because these are their job okay now let's go to number four the tour tour or tourist i'm talking about the person or the picnic the trip that starts at 9 a.m the tour of course we Circle two. We go to number five. I want to paint or painter a picture of the mountain. I want to paint, of course, because this is the verb. I want to paint. I want to dance. I want to work. I want to play. Okay. Okay. Number six. I'd like to be a writer. A write or a writer, of course, I would like to be a writer when I am older, when I grow up. When I grow up, I want to be a writer. Got it? So, number one, explorer. Number two, novelist. Number three, journalist. Number four, tour. Number five, paint. Number six, writer. We talked about suffixes. Now, in details, I will explain the word suffixes. Suffixes, two letters or three letters, we put them at the end of the word to change the meaning. We have verbs here. These are verbs. These are nouns. Paint. I add ER to be painter. What's the difference? Paint, I would like to paint a picture. He is a painter. I'm talking about him, about his job. Here, I want to paint. Here, he is a painter. I want to explore. I want to find. I want to search. I want to discover. Okay. He is an explorer. Okay. Like the kids in the story, they were explorers. Got it? Now, please write your homework. Okay, the teacher says, please write your homework. Okay, your assignment. You will write your homework. Oh, I am a writer. He is a writer. She's a writer. Teach. Miss Maha teaches you every day, and, and now I'm teaching you. She is a teacher. Okay. I would like to play. All, all, all of us like playing. I like to play. Oh, he's a good play, player. Oh, my dad is driving. He likes to drive. Okay. He is a driver. Oh, I like to dance. He is a dancer. Uh-oh. Okay, he is a dancer. I'd like to build a new house. He is a builder. 
Okay, so these are verbs. I like to paint, I like to explore, I like to write, I like to teach, I like to play, I like to drive, I like to dance, I like to build more. I wish you are in front of me to give me more and more and more and more verbs. Uh, you are able to do it. I'm, I'm sure about it. I like to swim. Okay, for example, nouns. Oh, he's a painter, he's an explorer, he's an explorer, he's a writer, he's a teacher, she's a player, he's a driver, he's a dancer, he's a builder, okay? We finish the suffix ER. Verbs, we change them into nouns by adding ER to change the, uh, not the meaning, how we use it. Here, I like to paint. Here, I am a painter. Okay, we will go to other kind of suffix. We have other, uh, other kind of suffix. Now, what does journal mean? Journal, novel, tour, art, guitar. All these are nouns. But what's the difference? Let's see. Journal. It's a magazine or a newspaper. Okay? I'm reading a journal. I'm reading a newspaper. Okay. Novel. A short story. Tour. A trip. Art. Drawing, painting. All these are arts. Right? You like an art class. I'm sure you like it. Guitar. You like it. Do you, do you play on a guitar? These are nouns. But when I add I-S-T, it means journalist, novelist, tourist, artist, guitarist. This is how we pronounce them, but let's see. First of all, we want, we want to pronounce them. Then we want to know how we use them. Journal, journalist. Novel, novelist. Tour, tourist. Art, artist. Guitar, guitarist. Okay. Mm, I'm reading a journal. He is a journalist. I'm reading a novel, a short story. He or she is a novelist. Okay. I'd like to go on a trip or on a tour. He is a tourist. I like art. I like painting. He is an artist. I like to play on a guitar. He is a guitarist. See how I changed not the meaning, the usages of these ones. Journalist, novelist, tourist, artist, guitarist. He is, she is the occupation and the job. Okay? Okay, now let's go to the fourth slide. Mm. I'll explain the word who, the relative pronoun in details later on, but I want you to know how we use verb. Okay, how to use the, uh, the verb and when I add the suffix er, how I use it. These are some examples. I like to paint a picture. A painter is a person who paints a picture, right? I want to explore something new. An explorer is a person who explores something new. I like to write a short story. A writer is a person who writes short stories. See? Paint. Verb. I want to paint. He's a painter. 
I want to explore, to find, to search, to discover. He is an explorer. I like to write. He is a writer. I can add some verbs like I like to swim. I am a good swimmer. I like to dance. I am a good da dancer. Can you give me more? I try to think about more verbs and nouns. When you add ER, I'm sure you are able to do it. You are excellent. Now we finish the verb and the noun. Let's go to the word who and who and who. A relative pronoun. I join two sentences with who and who. I will go on, uh, in detail. Okay, to slide number five. Okay. Before we go in details uh, and explain the relative pronouns, let's take more examples about the suffixes, then we will go to who. My dad is reading the Journal of Science. He is a journalist. He's reading a magazine, a newspaper. Okay, here. A magazine, a newspaper. He is a journalist. His job is a journalist. The tour or the trip is very interesting. Come on, I had fun. Or I'm having fun. Uh, I was a tourist in Japan. Okay? I like to read novels. My father is a novelist. I like to read short stories. My father is a novelist. Okay, these are, okay, here, noun, and noun, noun, and noun, noun, and noun, but I'm using them in a different way when I add the suffix I-S-T, like biology, you know the word biology, biologist, okay, I'm sure you are able to think about it and give me more and more uh, nouns with I S T. Now, the most important thing here, the relative pronouns, we talked about it in slide number four when we said he, when uh, he is, uh, 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 this is the painter who paints, okay? So, relative pronouns, who, who I use it for people, for, and it's, I don't want to use who, I use that to join two sentences with each other, and in the workbook, there are a lot of exercises, we will do it with each other later on. Okay, but I'll give you time to study this. Then I'll see you with the workbook and the student book later after one or two days after you study this. See, this is the boy who or that had an accident. This is the boy. He had an accident. So I put instead of he, this is the boy who or that had an accident. Nancy is the girl who or that I met on a Friday. Jana is the girl who or that loves shopping. Okay. This is the doctor who or that always treats me. Okay. Can I talk to the girl who is sitting on the beach? Okay, so I joined two sentences with who, 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 who. If I don't want to put who, I can put that. But remember who I use it for people. Boy, girl, girl, doctor, girl, woman, man. Um, okay, 
people are used who okay we have other kind of the relative pronoun we have which okay which i use it for things and animals so who i use it for people and i can use that which i use it for things and animal like fish toy huddle bottle of pepsi or coke key all these are okay f f uh, animals or things fish is an animal toy is a thing hotel is a place bottle is a thing or a uh, or a tool okay key is a tool or a thing okay so i use which look at the example this is the fish which or that I ate yesterday. This is the toy. Which or that I bought yesterday. This is the hotel. Which or that I like to stay in when I travel to London. Where is the bottle of Coke? Which or that I bought yesterday. This is the key. Which or that I need to open the door with okay see the lesson listen the lesson is very 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 easy and i'm sure about your ability you are able to think about more and more example okay we will we will finish the workbook and the student book with each other First, I would like you to study the, these seven slides, okay, till I see you, okay? So, we, again, we will revise our lesson, okay, quickly, quickly. So, we talked about explorers for a day, okay? So, the kids took with them a compass, okay? Binoculars, map. Okay, they went to different directions. Okay, they went to the north. Okay, to find the hidden flags. They took the binoculars and the map and the compass. They sheltered where? In the cave to protect from the rain. Okay, and we talked also about, okay, page 68 and 69 we finished and we talked also about the suffixes how we add er and how we add ist and we talked about the relative pronoun okay who for people uh, which for animals and thing and i can instead of who or which i can put that and you can trick me and put that okay thank you see you soon